everyone I'm back um, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial today because it's been such a long time since <clears throat> I've done my makeup um, like just for fun and um, usually during the week I just do like my eyebrows and my eyes and no kind of lipstick I haven't even really been wearing foundation so that's what I'm gonna do for you today um my husband's probably gonna yell at me for the lighting sorry Dill also I cut my bangs back in I'm really sorry Alex they're very uneven um I'm happy that they're back but I'll see you in February <laughs> so just you know don't pay attention to them okay that's it guys let's get started so I'm gonna start off with foundation skin tint um, I've been like on and off using this <clears throat> obviously I haven't really gotten a chance to because of COVID but it's pretty good uh, I think I would prefer to try their um, actual foundation because this is just the skin tint and it's um I guess you know for someone who has acne right now it doesn't matter because everything's like covered under the mask but it doesn't it doesn't give like really good coverage <laughs> It's not really I know everything's red too now because I just put on my skincare beforehand but it's not really I wouldn't give it like a 10 out of 10 for coverage I get what it is it's supposed to be for the summer but hey ho we'll go back in with concealer for my brows I like to use a good brow gel. I experiment with different ones. I've used one from e.l.f. recently that I think was like $3 and was pretty good. The NYX um, eye brow gel. So I just got it like last week so far and I've been really enjoying it. Um, it's in the color chocolate. So I don't use um a pencil or anything my brows are pretty thick i just wish they were darker so that's why i like to use the gel so i'll usually just brush them um brush them out because you can see i've got like baldy patches <laughs> feeling just I don't know if it's like cooped up um I don't know if it's I'm missing my friends I think it's a combination of everything uh this is the Glossier stretch concealer it is in the color light I'm definitely not going to be able to see that. You guys, I mean, if you do makeup and you do Glossier, you probably, you know what's up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why this week 
everything has come crashing <laughs> crashing on to me I think it's probably um I don't know if you guys y'all feel this but I think it's probably a combo of relief from election stuff and the inauguration and everything and that Trump's gone but then also <laughs> being relieved but then also being like okay um what are the things that we need to put pressure on the new administration with so I think just figuring out all those feelings of kind of being like uh you know Trump's gone which is like hallelujah but you know Biden was not my first pick um but he's there so now uh that he has been uh, officially put to work what what are our thoughts and feelings on him what are we going to press him on things like that i think have been weighing on me oh even though you know the past couple of months we've all had time to understand what he stands for and the areas of opportunity that he has to really like pivot and make a difference um i think it's just all a lot to process at once you're kind of like grappling with the past four years so i think it's that i think it's yeah just feeling really stagnant and like you can't do anything outside um oh by the way this is a NARS palette that Tony Morgan David Jack gave me um it's a highlighting and bronzing palette but I use it for eyeshadow so whatever <laughs> so what you want um this is what it looks like on the inside um so I'm gonna take this color right here I just have a Sephora brush again it's just an eyeshadow brush I have no idea what it's called that's what it looks like it's just one of the flat ones I I also just haven't really been moving a lot um, I find it hard to take the dogs on a walk the whole reason we got dogs is to help me get out of the house. Um, I have um, panic disorder um, and agoraphobia. So leaving the house on a good day when it's not pandemic is really hard for me. Um, for those of you that don't, I guess maybe I'll explain a little bit more about agoraphobia. For those of you who don't know what it is or you think you know what it is and just assume that it's just about leaving the house um it's not it's for me yes leaving the house is probably one of the the higher parts of it that i struggle with um but it's also just basically having yourself be put in situations that you can't get out of so so for example i used to be really fine with the subway not a big deal i know some people hate it some people like don't even think about it i used to not even think about it but probably in the past like three years i've had a harder time with it um and i think definitely like ibs related too is just like so like being stuck on the train in a situation where i like can't get out i don't care if this is tmi whatever um it's just the reality of life the life that I lead um sorry I'm using this top highlighter it's like like more like a white highlight um yeah so like that for example because of the because I have IBS and like I, I literally could have like a great week and 
um, on that particular day be totally fine. Uh, but being on the subway and kind of like trapped in a sense in my mind is really hard for me mentally. It makes me like basically have a panic attack and I, my commute to work is an hour and 20 minutes um on the subway so you can imagine the panic or like the mental um the emotional toll that it takes on on me mentally of trying to psych myself up um but yeah so walking the dogs has been hard going to work has been really hard it's like when I come home, I feel like I, I feel like I'm like gonna die or combust into nothing if like I'm forced to go outside again. I don't know how else to explain it. This is the Giorgio Armani mascara, the black mascara. I literally don't remember what it's called, but um, also Tony Morgan, David Jack, my really good friend from England. Always, he used to work like in the beauty industry, but he he does um, a ton of PR stuff now and has his own um, candle line, um, like tapered candles. It's called Fair Home. I'll also put it down below in the description box. But um, he used to, whenever he would visit, he used to bring um, like any beauty samples and stuff. So this was a mascara that he brought for me a couple of years ago um and I really liked it but then I forgot I forgot about it I have really been enjoying it lately um if any of y'all wear mascara I'm sure that you're very particular too about your mascara and then also what it does for you I definitely prefer volume over length. Um, my eyelashes are pretty long, but you can never see them. So that's why I tend to go for the volume over the length. Because, I mean, if you, if you can see, that's just with curling them. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all prefer or what your favorite mascara is or if you use any of the same products I used today or if you have any recommendations for me. I love playing with makeup so this is a fun video to reignite my makeup passion I've really been just doing the same stuff over and over again and just from here up because of my mask so okay now I'm going to use bronzer these are probably I don't know I'm the worst these are probably expired <laughs> but it's um the bourgeois 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 any French people, you can correct me. Um, it's like the chocolate um, bronzing powder. So before I messed with it, it looked like a chocolate bar. Um, this is in medium. I think I got this. Not this particular one, but I think I got this for the first time. Oh, and I'm using um, like a kind of like flat... Um, dense brush um I think I got that bronzer for the first time when I was in the UK I'm just gonna I don't know I never I never know like I know where to put bronzer but I never know if I'm actually doing it right so whatever this is just where it's going I also feel like whenever I do it there, it's just like so obvious. Um, so I just like to do that. 
and then go back over it with the foundation brush just kind of blend it in anyways let me know how everyone is feeling is there anything that y'all are excited for in the coming months I'd love to hear some stuff that people are excited for because maybe it'll give me ideas my birthday is the end of February so I am kind of trying to think of if we should just rent a cabin in the woods um, where the dogs can come like upstate um, because for that we could just go grocery shopping here we could get gas here we wouldn't really have to interact with anyone um, but I I just don't feel like that's worth it so I don't know I'll probably just do nothing I'm using mineral veil does everyone remember bare minerals because I forgot about it for a while um so this is just to set um is just to set some of the some of the stuff I put concealer on so it doesn't move later I learned how to do makeup through YouTube so I don't really know if that's a defense but I don't really know what I'm doing I'm just kind of winging it um this is the bare minerals it's in Oh, maybe it doesn't. I think I got the translucent. 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 I'm gonna do blush now. This is a cloud paint in Storm. I really like this one. Okay, maybe this mineral veil is not translucent. Ugh. That's coming up weird on camera. It does not look like that in real life, but maybe we're gonna we're just gonna cover it up. That looks better. Maybe that isn't translucent. I don't think it is. Cause why would it be? Why would it be that dark? Oh, who knows? Just trying to tone down the cloud paint a little bit. This lipstick that I'm using is, oh yeah, it's Sephora brand. Um, my friend Margaret actually um, turned me on to um, this actual line um I remember she was wearing like a really pretty red and I asked her where she got it from um so I had gotten the same one but I think Jessie chewed it when she was a puppy last year this one's called golden gate as you can see um I just wanted like a a berry I I like me a good dark lip I feel like most people who know me know that um so we're just gonna go over i really need to exfoliate <laughs> Anyways, going back to what I was talking to, 
I guess the next couple of months are gonna be hard. Um, if you're feeling it along with me. And just know that you're not alone. Um, especially if you have mental health, I know it's really hard right now. Really, really hard. Like, winter's already challenging for anyone that has mental health, but winter and COVID is another thing. One of my really good, I remember one of my really good friends from college had sad and she had one of the lights that you sit in front of. And so, like honestly, I really, I really think that I wanna get that. I feel like my dad talked about getting it one time because he also, he also has a seasonal affective disorder, so. I'm just like going around the edge to make sure it doesn't bleed. I just wanted to basically say that if you're struggling right now, you're definitely not alone like i said before but um if you have any tips that you find helpful for your mental health during this long stretch of winter but also particularly now during the pandemic let me know um Obviously, we also love a good um, show to binge watch. So if you have any of those, let me know too. All right, y'all, we're getting there. The last thing I'm gonna do is highlighter. This is also Giorgio Armani. Tony definitely gave this to me. It's definitely expired. we're still using it i just like to put a little bit here i mean honestly like who goes through stuff that fast not me i really like the lip color again i really enjoy like a deep uh like a plum that's what i wore on my wedding it was like a deep plum color that's it i hope y'all enjoyed it this is my look for a saturday yeah let me know if you have any questions i'm gonna link most of the products below that I can find because again some of the ones that I have are really old and I don't know if I can see like the names like rubbed off on the bottom please let me know down below if you enjoyed this if you would like me to do more makeup tutorials I think it's like a fun weekend activity I know I'm not going anywhere but um yeah it felt nice to be creative again i enjoy doing my makeup it's part of my um everyday ritual even if i don't do obviously all of this i at least do the eyes and the eyebrows so um it's something that i enjoy it's something that calms me down so of course i would love to make it um a series for you guys if that's something that you would be interested in so Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.